Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandiazel. Back to okay, I'm just gonna let the dollar put itself out. Can't be fucked. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. Alright. Okay, anyways, back to my conversation. It's Vandiazel, back in another Uncharted 4 a Thief's End video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's see what's up, shall we? So this time, well, as of last time, we were in a, what I'm going to assume was a Mexican prison, and we, after having a fist fight to the death, and maybe it may not dying to my own stupidity again, who knows, actually I don't remember now, but still, point stands, um, we lost our brother Sam, but we learned about this, like, thing for, like, a pirate that apparently committed suicide because he was on Henry Avery show. A lot of story things happen is what I'm getting at, and I don't remember any of them. But apparently Sam died? Anyways, let's just handle this real quickly. Let me see if I can get up here, because I'm also trying to find like any treasures I can. Uh, if I don't find treasure, I'm not gonna like make an entire thing over it, but I would like to find them if I can. But anyways, um, Sam apparently died on our way up, and then we got a flash forward of 25 years to, and I quote, the Malaysia job, and would you look at this, we're here. There you are. Here's our wreck. I found it. Alright, how's it look? Let's beat up. Intact. Yeah, and it defines what your definition of intact is. What about this? What do we got here? What's inside? I can't see anything. I can see uh, something. I can see the cargo. It's like most of the crates are here. That's good. Get an accurate count. I'm gonna have to go inside. Yeah. Stand by. Why is the dialogue so? I didn't want to turn it up in case of bullets. I saw something in that corner, but because I guess the situation kind of calls for it. A. Okay, I'm gonna pull this over here because I know I'm gonna need it later. Well, the straight crate. I'm just gonna. Oh, hell. Uh, Check inside the trailer. See how much we lost. Got me. Well. Wait. Come back to this. No! No! I want to drag that over there now because I know I'm gonna need it! No! Dude, God damn it, story! Okay, anyways, um. But no, so I guess we fast forward about, I think it was 15, it was either 15 or 25 years to the future where we're doing this Malaysia job and I have no idea what's going on, so I'm just gonna spam the triangle consistently. Thankfully, thanks to a friend of mine, I've had some gameplay practice knowing, and I did it on crushing hard mode. But apparently, I'm a lot. Well. Looks like to, to be exact, uh, I'm better at this game than I thought I was. I'm still bad, but I'm better than I thought I was. So I feel like a little bit more confident in my capabilities to handle crushing, considering, or not crushing, hard mode if I was handling crushing pretty easily. I already found one straggler right there. Jesus. Found the other crate. I must have swam right past it before. Well, I mean, uh, I guess that kind of lines up with timing. It's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first. Then we'll lift the trailer out for you. Hey, you see, that's why you get paid the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I went back and got that crate I found earlier. One down. Not one yet. Hey, 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 hey. Security Patience. in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. Right, hey, see you soon. Yeah. Can I see them from up here? Oh, no, I can't say anything. I'm really hoping the camera glare doesn't affect this in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, like I was saying, I uh, thanks to a friend of mine, I got some practice in with a crushing mode, and great god. Look, again, I say I'm bad, but I'm apparently not as bad as I thought I was, and I was handling myself decently well. So, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, basically. Which is a good thing, and he said something's on the way down. Do I have to... Okay, I'm assuming I don't have to go pull that. So, if I just look up, I see. Yep. This looks like a horror thing in a video game waiting to happen, and the horror game was based off what? What's that one water-based horror game? Bet Petrama, right? Okay, it's in position. Or Bear Trauma, like whatever. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Got you. Okay, got the cable. Or was it Subnautica? It one of the Either way, I've never played it. I just didn't know it exists. Uh, no, I meant to go this way, and then we're gonna, uh... To click this. I don't know why the thought of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds went into my mind. I don't know what the yeah, fuck that is at all. all right, but let's just go up. And I had a topic for this video, don't worry, this isn't just going to be me needlessly talking through dead silence, but I want to kind of try to get this done first in case any dialogue tries to fucking interrupt me, so... Because it's a long one this time, and I'm kind of like waiting for the right moment, I just gotta remember how to do my job. Ah, okay, there we go. Hit the triangle, hit the triangle, there we go. That's two. Okay, trailer's secure, ready to go. Go, man, go! Get clear, we'll lift it up. Out of the way, buddy. Ready You're up. You and up we go. 
I would not feel safe getting under this at all, because if it drops, I'm dead or stuck. When it, or, okay. or worse, stuck actually. Yeah. Yep. So Go. drop it on me. Yeah, please. No promises. I okay. don't feel confident in the voice fit, sir. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Yeah, and then afterwards you guys can lift me back up, hopefully, because I don't think this air tank might last long enough. I mean, it might last long enough. I don't know. It doesn't give us a limit on how long it lasts, so it could last forever. There you go. Faulty clipping, but hopefully this one works. Get a little bit of force, elbow grease it. Get there. We go. Hey, hey, I, I know you're talking about the dropping thing, right, dude? Right? That was an accidental shake. Okay, so we can make it back up. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. True, yeah. Wanna ride up? Yes, please. Love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Which sling? Do I just gotta grab which sling? Oh, so I was right. I was just heading the right way. Okay, ready to go, man. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. I swear to you, this is the summer of just throwbacks because I'm playing the game that first started this channel with. I've played, I've had a lot of flashbacks this summer, just a lot of things. We'll get to that later. How you feeling? Birds! I'm better now than I'm out of river. I'm gonna sleep like fish for a week. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna come to you, hang on. Hang on. Hey, probably that guy then. Oh, suckers. Oh, hey. Hard, working hard or hardly working, guys? We're, gotcha. Good. Don't know why people make that joke. Oh, I just... Okay, there we go. Take off the flippers, please. Good, sir. So, are we just going to jump down from this height, or... This feels like a little high for me. Okay, that's better. Okay. Now I feel safe. Trying. And I have my thumb down now. Thank you for that one, Nathan. Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Tell us down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? There. Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, is that a compliment? I'm stunned. No one asked you. How we doing down there? <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. So even this man is making mom jokes. Great. Good job on you, Nathan. Hey, people in the... Never mind. I don't know why I thought those were people. Can I hop ship? How much longer are you going to try? Oh, this isn't right. Look. Okay, fine. Let's wrap this up later. <laughs> My <laughs> hero. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what you brought us. Cargo, Jimmy. Hey, so how about you let someone else be pointing? I don't know why I called you Jimmy. I meant James. No, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's going to be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, no. Got under bid. You got to be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Okay, so you don't want to continue Let's talking? See. Oh, there you go. Uh, do the James, okay, I was about to say, James, this is not how you use a crowbar. Yeah, here, let me let me yeah, show you how a real crowbar experience works. Thanks. Just gonna hack it open. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> Well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down and make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, it's all the same to you. I think I'm just going to do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rent check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Nathan Smart, he can't be trusted with drinking because he'll go on an adventure and probably, I don't know, get hurt. Either that or have to keep other people safe from getting hurt. One of the two. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? What's this? 
got some news from a contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin. You are a persistent one. I could be that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job. The only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours... You get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. Yeah, yeah he would know. Listen, I have to pass. Trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm not gonna change my mind. Well, oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? <laughs> Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? Right. My God. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. Yeah, Nate, 100% pressure, but no pressure, man. You know, it's just our future's on the line. But it's fine. No one cares. We'll be okay. If we're homeless, it's your fault. Your homework on this one. In the words of a wise man, the difference between me and a homeless is this job. <laughs> Would make a hell of a find. Uh, can I read it? Oh, I guess I can't read it. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. I forget when this chapter ends, and it worries me that it's going to be read right about now. I'm ready. Like, click the. I was right. Okay. So, like, this chapter is extremely small, and so is the next one. Like, technically, it wouldn't hurt. To have them both in the same video, it really wouldn't, but, ah, mm, mm. you know what, ah, I'm gonna regret this later on, I know I am, but fuck it, I've already decided, I'm just not gonna end it here, yeah, so, a normal life, I, man, how I, Spanish to bloom, a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle, who would have thunk? Yeah, if you don't remember, that's from... I think this whole attic is filled with stuff from all of his adventures. Like, there's one from Adventure 1. This might be from Adventure 2, by the looks of it, right? Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Oh, no, this was the one in, uh... <gasps> Look at us. Yeah, this was the original one. Found this on my old camera. Thought you would like to have it. E. So, E is Elena. You know, like... Again, I say, as a guy that used to, that played this game before the others, none of these made any sense to me. I thought they were just, like, you know, remnants of his adventures that, like, happened off camera, but now knowing that those are actual games, it feels fun to have it. Oh, this thing! Big Brother some years back. Yeah. I, wasn't that the, uh, this looks like Adventure 2 type of stuff, because, like, we have the mask and stuff like that. This is probably from Adventure 1. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. Yeah, why did we collect a crystal skull? We literally got attacked by like a zombified coffin. I wouldn't have taken my chances with the skull at all, but whatever, I guess Nate's just crazy. But I guess now that I've basically bought myself some time to discuss my topic, Francis it's like- elaborate puzzles. Oh yeah, this thing, the one that caused me so much trouble in the last game. But anyways, um. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Oh, I remember I played with this so much when I was, uh, when I first played this game, because I didn't know what this was. And now that I do, it's like, huh. Fair, because that was actually my favorite thing in this game, or like my favorite little thing in this area, and uh, I remember that the, the game two is my, actually my favorite outside of this one, so honestly pretty cool that I just instinctively knew that this would be my favorite, but uh, anyways, just embarking on Shambhala again. Yeah, the guy that we never talked to, Tenzin. You see, you think, you think it'd be a picture of Chloe and not Tenzin who we met like halfway through the game, but eh, whatever. Either way though, um... Like, this is just the summer of remembrance, I guess, because a lot of memories have come down. Like, my, uh, you know, some old, um, videos and A. Hey, yeah. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. This is the thing from our journey of this game. But no, like, some old, uh, trying to remember, like, the old Let's Play, a lot of old TV shows I used to watch are, like, coming back for some reason. I don't know why. And a lot of old movies, too. It's just been, like, the trip down memory lane. So, all around has been, like, very interesting. So, I guess it just makes sense that, on um, pure accident, this Let's Play happens to align with the time that the whole entire Summer of Remembrance is going on. Not really my style anymore. What was this? I... Was that... Okay, so that was probably his belt buckle, but from where? I don't remember, actually. No, this was a crazy ride. Oh, I ran with pillows. This is definitely the third game, right? 
Royal N. How are things now? Has mm-hmm. been up to my usual shenanigans? Nothing, Nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on wine stock. Caught wind of something that really sounded up your alley. Oh, this was the thing that uh, invite that where Chloe invited us over. Not Chloe. Ah, Elena invited us over to where we end up having that confrontation in game three. I really wish I was good at editing so I could yeah. like show clips of those and also have the original footage, but I don't. Anyways, now that I understand this point of the game, after looking at it with cold eyes, because remember. I didn't know before that, um, you know, Nate had actually gone on previous adventures. So I actually believed that this was just a man playing with a toy gun because he could and he would. But in fairness, this is kind of like Nate um, just reliving his child, or not necessarily his childhood, but his uh, upbringing again. Just gonna shoot you. Oh wait, but we got this guy, Tango, left. Okay, well fuck, we messed up on the Tango. Stop moving, there we go. Tango, but then there's also one more right here. Oh my god, there's a hat up here. When did you get... Oh, I remember that hat. Oh, hell yeah. Where's the last one? There's one more, right? No, here. Here we go. From downtown. I swear there was one oh, more. There was one more. Where was it? Oh, there we go. From downtown, baby. Okay. I think I think I have to waste all the ammo for the game to continue story. So, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, let me just get uh, one more good shot. Okay. Next time. Never mind. Yeah, next time. Yeah, that's future me problem, not a not current me problem. Current me is too busy enjoying life right now, so. Yeah, playtime's over. Literally what I was about to say, word for word, I kid you not. I was about to say playtime's over. Okay, hop down the fence I go. Not the fence, the uh, ladder. Go, Nate, go, 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 go. Go spend time with your loving wife. Uh, or presumably wife, because yeah, we have all these beautiful pictures. I swear that's from game one or game three. Nepal... That looks like it comes from game two just by the background. We have a nice bed here. Elena got a lot of good pictures. If you don't know how I know it's Elena, it's because of, okay, well, A, we got married at the end of the game of last one. B, we have that, which I meant to look through. And then C, her text box came up on camera. So there's that. I wonder how, I wonder what's in here out of curiosity. Wow. Never looked at this before, actually. So I've never seen any of these. I like how they hide Nathan's yeah, face. Who does he think he is? Ethan from Resident Evil, where they just don't show his face for some arbitrary reason? Never understood why that's the case, but they just do, because that's just a thing. And Sully's crying in the background. Sully pretends to be the man. Okay, well. Oh, hey, it's a cute little elephant. That's definitely from Shambhala's journey. I'm just going off, like, what it looks like, and okay, this is definitely Elena's closet. I'm going to just walk out, because clearly that's her thing. And then the bathroom. Oh, this looks so cool. <gasps> Picture! Oh, I thought that was Sully's and Elena's picture with us. Just like, remember how like the intro had kind of its own thing to it? I don't know how to describe it, but it just like looked like it was in the same typing as that. I'm just gonna kind of explore everything. Is I can't even. Oh, this is, oh, so this is her workroom then, Bangkok. Let's see. Ultimate travel guide to Bangkok, full colors, blah, blah, blah. Whether you visited Bangkok before, it's your first time in the capital of Thailand. This will navigate everything to, okay, cool. The important thing to note about Bangkok is there's a reason why it's called Bangkok. I'm not going to elaborate more on that. If you know what I'm referring to, good for you. Uh, we really need to go on another vacation. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do. Look at this. We have all these beautiful pictures. It looks like... I guess we just didn't go back to the crazy adventure world that we did before, which, in all fairness, makes a lot of sense, considering all those other times we almost died, but still. But we still got some good event uh, pictures from those adventures. Like, that's from game one, which I have question why we have that. That, I believe, is from game two. I... That looks like it's also from game two as well. That's definitely from game three. Ah, uh, yes, that's a beautiful picture of us at the mountain. Now I have another thumbnail idea, honestly. Can I leave the house randomly? Nope, okay, it was worth a try. Ah, uh, I just, uh, it's feel, it feels so good to be back here again. Again, this being the first one game I've ever played. I haven't touched this in years. So being able to just come back to this room yeah, again is amazing. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? Yeah. I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Yeah, don't oh, worry. Yeah, sure thing. Got spicy dumplings, beer. There you go. Okay, I got. Wait, no, I I thought it was gonna be the option of soda. I didn't mean to. Well, okay, I guess Nathan's grabbing beer. Then. Well, cool. I guess that's what we're working with today, and we're just gonna grab our food. <clears throat> Doesn't even take a swig. I feel like there's a drink button I actively chose not to use. Can I use the microwave? Cause I'm curious. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Okay, here we go, Elena. Nice eating time. Screw eating in the kitchen because who eats in the kitchen? <laughs> Done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's 
probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Joe, how was your day? What? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? No, oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a um, early 21st century truck. We got, <laughs> apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. So, so it, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs like the second that you got off the so. Nathan zoning out again. Ah, that. What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? Shit. Uh. This one? Mm-hmm. Well, it's supposed to be about tourists in Bangkok. Lost in city. Uh, people of Bang. Was, yeah, this is square. People of Bangkok. Uh, the people of of uh, Bangkok. Yeah, I was listening. And, and the smog, and how they, they can't uh, breathe. Yeah, can't fly anywhere, and people can't breathe. Nathan's just taking a shot at everything you can remember at that moment. Wow. And I'm sorry. No, it was balanced. I was in the really? ballpark, right? In a different state. <laughs> yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asks me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Lana, in about two years. Well, can we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Oh, stop, I'll do it. No, you did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, it, it, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, when I say chicken, is it a bet? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. <laughs> that was going to be good. Okay. I remember my okay. original playthrough, I said, if anyone can teach me how to beat this, I'll pay him $100. I was fearful one day that someone was actually going to call up and be like, be like beat this it? doing this, no, here's the 100 take the $100. Mode. Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's gonna... Well, let me do anything. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh, <laughs> do you, uh, they make it go. Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. <laughs> okay, time for my okay. old nemesis. So you want to run the, the this thing. Okay. Oh, I forgot yeah, that those are buttons. Got it. Okay, my old nemesis, Crash Bandicoot. I have never actually played a Crash Bandicoot game outside of this. They're chasing me. Uh, oh, okay, wait. I didn't wait, I have an idea. Use your spin attack. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Circle spin attack. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I figured out. Oh, okay, I'm a genius and I've almost killed myself. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. What is it? 
Oh, nope, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this! Come on, come on, there we go, baby. Nope, no, no, no. Ooh. That's not important right now, dude. It's just, it's what he does. Ah, oh, damn it! What so close. Almost had it. Oh, I forgot I have to go back to the timer. Right, okay, so here comes another one. You should learn to climb. Yeah, that's a possibility, Nathan. Learning how to climb Perfect. for a fox. Foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. What the fuck is a bandicoot? Have you ever seen a bandicoot? No, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. True. Yeah, these graphics are pretty good. No! Oh! No! Oh! I can't believe I did that! I've got it farther than ever before, and I'm getting really cocky right now. That's probably damn it! I knew I should have gotten cocky. I was so focused because I was finally doing well. Past life. Ah, uh, no one asked you, Elena. Oh no! Did, how far does spawn me back? Jump. Spawn me all the way back yeah, here! I mean, no! Keep going, keep going. I was feeling so proud of myself for doing good! And I messed up! I screwed up! Trying to pick off hundred pieces of fruit. I hate everything. I hate everything. Watch that pit. I know about the pit, Elaine. I died on the well, it exactly wasn't this one, it was the, uh, the last one. Oh, there we go, baby! Oh! I did it! Okay, good. I did it! I don't play the game for years and I did it! <laughs> I did it! I'm so proud of myself! I did it! I never did that before! What? Is that it? You asked for it. Fuck! I get the oh, same reaction can... anyways! I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really be <laughs> good cleaning. Really, really gonna start the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just Oh my it. god. It's way um, easier on Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning. What are you gonna do? I'm warning. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show sorry. me. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? You don't say yeah, of course. That's clearly a lie. Mm. <clears throat> um? <laughs> really? Come here. I'm so proud of myself. I've never done that before, and I take years off from playing the game, and I finally succeed. Granted, I didn't beat her, but still, I'll, I'll take it as a win for myself. I've never gotten to the end of it. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Asshole. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your heights, a little bit leaner, nothing less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, I'm understanding the statement when you. you look like you saw a ghost. How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... The doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Hey, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <laughs> Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, he said I wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a sandman. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come, come back. I know, Nathan. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. Yeah, don't worry. Nathan just saw a dead guy walk for the first time in years. <laughs> Which allows me to explain yeah, something when we get to the next part. It's just my... It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How did you even get here find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So, what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy stories. Some crazy stories. Got shot, 
hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yep. Yeah, that, uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jesus, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, so there was Elena. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna talk about my favorite. I explore Shambhala. Okay, um, a few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp. Oil lamp, but it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. I forgot that's how that comes. Yeah. I forgot how that started. started. There was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. So, quick catch up, man. I mean, lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. That's game three they're talking about, by the way. Right there, that last one. Yeah. yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. It's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological gold mine and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Well, paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. This is a not a, this is a non agreeable thing, Sam. You're going one way or another. Nathan. <laughs> Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. <laughs> I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Sick of hearing about by now. Oh no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet alibi for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? Guns, dumbass. The opportunity of a lifetime. Un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? I don't think I have a choice right now. I'm held at gunpoint if I don't. Vamos. 
Yeah. Well, I'm gonna end this one here because clearly the game's gonna move on to his next point. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is end up turning into a double feature episode, but eh, what's well, it too? I didn't get to talk as much because it was really just setting the background for Nathan's story, but there's a lot more to talk about in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, even though I was really silent through it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to follow Twitch, and don't forget that the adventure is always with you.